What's up, High Vibers? Dee Dee here was living on High Vibe. We need to talk about something today, and that something is social media usage. Before we get started, oh, make sure that you subscribe my channel, click the bell notification, tickle the like button, all the good karma stuff. Anyways, have you noticed wherever you go, people are literally staring on their phones. There's always some sort of a stupid screen in front of their faces, car displays, TV sets, TV in the background, staring on a phone, staring on an iPad, staring into the laptop. What is this? I think we have completely lost our grip as humanity about how we're supposed to live. We tell even ourselves, hey, yeah, let's go in nature and let's do a picnic. I'm sitting here about 300 feet away from a very flat area where there's a whole bunch of families with kids doing a little picnic, little hangout, resting there. And everybody except the kids that are inside the water are staring into their screens in one way or other. Either they're taking nonstop pictures. What you're gonna do with those 800 pictures and videos that you took of your kids for the duration of this entire freaking day that you never looked around you, you just looked through the freaking life through the lens of your stupid phone, okay? And I'm like, hey, you, you know, everybody wants to take pictures and people take cameras, people take binoculars, people take uh, video equipment and do photo shoots and stuff like that. But come on now, every single person is eating, eating a sandwich and scrolling with the other hand. People are talking to each other, literally sitting across from each other and talking and scrolling. I just literally observed it and I was like, what is going on with you people? Are you still breathing? Are you actually looking at anything and enjoying anything except if it's through the smartphone's lens? What is the point for you to take a vacation, any type of vacation? Why are you going to places like Disneyland or whatever fun rides when you sit in a freaking ride and with one hand you strap a freaking GoPro to your face, you hold the phone, yeah, you do need angles of this whole crap and then somebody vomits on you. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's not like people are not going out and connecting, but they're doing it for some sort of a show off for clout. As human beings, we need to be really careful, even if we are trying not to get sucked too deep into this stuff, or if we need the stuff for work, we need to be figuring out what our boundaries are. For example, my arch nemesis has always been Facebook account because I thought, hey, I have a page and I'm selling this and that and I want to run ads, right? And then I joined these co coaching groups where people say, hey, well, you have to join a private Facebook group. And I'm like, I am forced to basically join. And then people start adding you as a friend as you interact with these people, yada, yada, yada. So this morning I went into my Facebook and I uh, was looking, actually, I joined a bunch of groups and I wanted to look at some things related to certain events and certain uh, stuff related to the hike I'm right now doing here, right? All I was seeing was spam. It's just suggested post after suggested post. And I just got so pissed off. I logged out of my account. I put my put Facebook on blockage list and I, um, I don't run any ads right now. But quite honestly, as I'm hiking here and as I'm thinking about it, I'm so sick and tired of it. Every time I need a distraction, it's an escape. It's a complete escape. Every time I need a freaking distraction, I'm just going into the Facebook, scrolling for a few minutes or longer, and then I'm getting back to what I have to do. But then I have already taken out myself from groove that I was in when I was trying to solve problems. So humanity winds up in the situation where they're just looking for the easy way out and for a distraction so that they don't actually have to solve the problems. So there is no freaking surprise that the AI is taking over. What happened to the thing that when you want to have a distraction, you say, hey, let me finish this crap. Uh, what I'm doing here is difficult. And then you schedule, I'm going to go out in the sun or I'm going to walk to a grocery store. If you can walk to it, in America, usually you can't unless you're in New York City or Chicago. So you want to do something. You want to go and sit in the yard. What do people do? They're like, oh yeah, let me go and sit in the sun. And then they take their device with, it, with them and that's where it ends. And uh, yeah, 
it is completely out of control so i went ahead and i blocked the entire page of facebook and i decided as i was going of course i'm going down the line again join some coaching groups and whatnot i am not i refuse if somebody says there is a private facebook group i'm like sorry man i'm not doing facebook it's bs i have not deleted my account i have not deleted my meta business account or any of my pages but if i reactivate it it's gonna be only to or if i log in back again right uh it will be solely to run ads and until then also you know my life seems kind of boring and then you send a message and people are just ignoring your message then they look at it a week later oh i'm sorry i didn't read and then they're being online all the time facebook account everybody actually should have a facebook account because if you start dating someone so that's like a spy tool for me and whatnot anyways long story short i just wanted to rant about social media usage and that it's completely out of control work hard to reduce its usage and it is also a big lie that you need to join all kind of groups for business and that unless you literally sell stuff and need to promote something on Facebook, I think ads, Facebook ads are effective for the most part. So yeah, do that. But to dwell on it, especially if you're a creative person, no, you need to just dump it. I'm dumping it. I'm not dumping all social media. TikTok doesn't interest me. I have some fun stuff that I like on uh, Instagram, but I kind of like look at it here and there. And uh, my biggest thing is YouTube. So yeah, if I want to focus on doing YouTube, has nothing to do with Facebook. So I'll just do my YouTube and I don't care. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's about all. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and let me know if you have similar experiences. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.